3, 2, 1, action. We are back with essentials. Super excited because today we're going to be making dumplings. So you can make it for yourself, for your family, you can sell it, you can meal prep it. Basta. Here we go. Okay, sir, yung mukha niyo lang po, pakiano ng onte. Let's work on the first dumpling, which is your standard shumai. Next is some fresh shiitake. Ito yung last natin na ito chop, which is the small shrimp. We are just gonna mince it too. You can leave like two pieces and cut it into chunks, use it as a topping. So I have here some pork, ground pork. I use pork shoulder butt. One reason for you guys to try and make your own shomai is you can customize it. Gusto mo lagyan mo ng onting dagdagan mo ng fat or different cuts of the pork or mix ka ng beef and then add some pork fat there, chicken, diba? Possibilities. Okay, next yung mga seasoning natin. So I'm putting in some light soy sauce. Next, some oyster sauce, sesame oil. Next up, sugar. Okay. Ah, 2024. Then I have here chicken cubes. I just took one and dissolved it in three or a fourth of a cup of water. And then the thing that will bring your ingredients together is the starch that we're using today, which is cornstarch. So one thing I learned from a professor of mine, her name's Chef Sab. She is an expert in Chinese cuisine and Italian. She told us to mix it in one direction. So ngayon, if I try to wrap this in my shomai wrapper or dumpling wrapper, it's not gonna stick. And just mix it until you start seeing threads. So there, yung thread na yan, you see this thing? That means if I spread this on my wrapper, it's gonna stick. So that is our first filling. The 2024 na Jules kailangan kong magseryoso. Yan ang resolution ko sa sarili ko eh. It's time to assemble our show. I have I have here the wrappers. Really nothing wrong with what you see in the groceries. I just have my preference of like fresh freshly made wrappers. We're going to make our own for the hakao later. Pero for the show my I'm opting to just use store bought get yourself a tablespoon of filling when i do that it sticks start closing it up compress then just put a piece of shrimp and dot the carrots all right so uh ito nga, I, I mentioned the shomai is super Dito pala si, yung kapatid ni Erwan. Si Salim. Eh oo, parang hindi ata nakafocus. Pero di naman tayo dun. Sa pagkain tayo nagpo-focus. For the second dumpling, it's gonna be hargaw. Ang difference niya, it's shrimp, the starch again, and then it has bamboo shoots in it. That's what it looks like. All you have to do is boil it for around 20 minutes. And then it's ready to go. We will be making the wrapper from scratch. Alright, so first we have wheat starch. You can find the wheat starch in you know, online shopping or again, Asian marts. Water, five. So nakita niya naman, straight from the pitcher. You really have to make sure that the water came from boiling. So this is the texture that you want. It's still kind of pasty. We are gonna rest this for five minutes. All right, so the dough is rested. I transferred it in a smaller, a smaller bowl. We will add the cornstarch in two batches. Add the rest. And then we will knead in the lard. If you don't have lard, shortening is okay. We will just knead this until smooth. Right, so this is perfect. I have a smooth dough. I'll just transfer it in the bowl again and let it rest for 15 minutes. Make sure to cover it with parchment paper or cling wrap if you have. Bamboo. 
right, next up is the shrimp. Put some salt, then we'll let it stand for a minute and then rinse. I'm just gonna mince again. Good enough for me. Still some bits and pieces of whole shrimp into the bowl. Since again, we rinsed it off, so I'm gonna add a bit of salt. And then we are gonna grate some ginger, some sugar, and sesame oil. Give it a mix. So the objective is to mix it until it doesn't fall apart. Dough is rested. It's gonna form it into a log before we divide it into doughs. We are gonna be using this for both hargao and the kuchai. So from here, para hindi tayo mahirapan magtansya, let's do half, half, half. Let's just set it aside first and rest it. We're gonna cover it with a moist towel. It's time to roll out our dough. So lightly dust your surface. So sumo, you want around 1 cm. Doesn't have to be a perfect uh, circle since friends and family naman yung kakain here in the studio. I'm gonna put a lot to you how you wanna fold it. But I like doing it gyoza style. Pinch the middle. You make like the, this arc, then I just fold it over. So it kind of makes a pleat. Let's see, it's gyoza. On to the third, we're going to make the kuchai filling. Okay, next, kuchai. So, one bundle is isang tali. So, tanggalin lang natin tong thick stems at the bottom. Pork. Some light soy sauce. Then, we will grate three garlic cloves. You can mince it if you want. If you don't have like a zester. Or if you don't want to grate it, it's fine. Next, we will add our starch. Or, we're using flour for this one. And binder. An egg. Yeah, so same with the first filling that we did. We want the filling to thread a bit because it kind of acts as like this, like an adhesive. Just helps it stick to the filling. Para lang meron difference. Let's same shape but different process. Let's see if I can do it. We'll try a different shape. Maybe empanada style if I fail. You know what? Nalito ako. I'm blacking out. Let's just do this. Let's make it simple. Get your empanada style. It looks like a handbag. So in a way, it's okay. Oh, you magic! You magic trick! <laughs> Alright, so we have a steamer going. Water boiling. Get parchment paper. Add a little bit of oil. Then just brush it all over. So this one was made using like a pre-made dough. So it's kind of dry. So it's gonna take 8 to 10 minutes to steam. Okay, so we're done with shomai. It looks so nice. So if you were to do like half of what we did, so you can probably make 28 to 30 pieces. But I made it super jumbo size. While it's still hot, I like brushing with some sesame oil. Finally, all the dumplings are done. I'll try the shawmai first. You really have to try this. It's savory, perfectly seasoned, and that mushroom flavor really brings it to a whole nother level. Next is the hargao. Mm. It really would be different without the bamboo shoots. The kuchai. Mm. I really think kuchai plus pork is the best. But uh, I think my favorite is the shawmai. So those were the three dumplings that we made today. 
I really hope that you get to try each recipe on your own. The important thing is you can make food that can make you, your friends, your family super happy. See you again next time.